Hey there, this is Patricia again. So excited to be Alta News guest for February. I wanted to show you how I put together a 6x8 pocket page spread. I have my photos and then I select some papers that I'll trim down to 3x4 to fit the pockets. And then I want to stamp directly onto the pattern paper here. And then I want to die cut CHA because this was a California Craft Hobby Association when it was called that at that time. And I want to die cut using some of the Alta New dies for that. And I used the stencil on white cardstock, but as you can see, it was too light. So I did that on pattern paper instead. And I really like the bold look of it here. It worked perfectly for that card. So I now want to use that other little strip of pattern paper. And that will be that for that pocket so far. I just want to keep moving on. This is what I normally do is I just keep moving and going through each pocket and adding to it. So on this next one, I'm inspired by these arrows. And since I'm going with the blues, pulling a lot of blues from the photos, I'm going to select several of the Alt New blue inks to randomly stamp the arrows across this 3x4 cardstock. I picked about four different um, of the blue inks from Alt New to stamp that and fill up that card. Now, as I do that and as I finish, I pull out my spread and I see how it looks. And I was kind of thinking about um, actually stamping something on top of that, but I felt like it would be too much. So I'm going to leave that as is for right now and just keep moving on to the next pocket. As I look through the sentiments, I just, and since I have some white space on this photo, I'm going to go back to this photo and add stamping directly to it. It's perfect. It's best times and it goes perfectly with the photo. Now I'm going to move on to the next pocket that I have a trimmed down piece of pattern paper. And I'm going to again use that flower stamp and I'm going to stamp that in black on top. And then I'm going to come back with some white cardstock and, and stamp another flower that I will detail cut to use on top of this pocket. I like to add dimension to my pocket pages, but just keep in mind that it will create bulk and it will create a thicker album. But I, I like dimension. As a scrapbooker, I really do like the dimension, so it doesn't bother me. I'm going to fill in the center of that flower just like I did on my traveler's notebook. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue moving through the pockets. And since I added some stamping to the white space on that other photo, I've got a lot of beautiful white space on here. And this is another perfect place to add a pretty bold title or sentiment. So I'm going to stamp beautiful here. And then I'm going to take one of the heart outlines and stamp that next to it. And that just goes perfectly with that. So as I work through a pocket page, I'm always, always going back and looking through and seeing what else I want to add. And since I added some yellow to the center of those flowers, I want to add a little bit of that sun-kissed ink here with the sentiment this. So I add that in between some of those arrows, and then I use one of the enamel hearts to add right next to that, just to add a little bit. Since I have a touch of that yellow, and since I have a touch of that, I used that same ink with cardstock and a dauber and just created a little bit of color on white cardstock and then used my typewriter to type California. So now I'm going to really start adding more detail to these pockets to finish up this story. I want to create some more stamping. I think this... Um, I think I have to. I mean, this, there's a sentiment in there that says sunshine day. So I'm going to stamp that along the edge of this palm tree. And then I'm going to use another heart from the enamel sheet to add right in between that. I really love that look. So as I go through, I, I like simple pocket pages, but I also like little, little nice details. So... I definitely want the photos to be the focus, but I also want to make a pretty spread and I want to dress it up. So I add a little bit more enamel dots to that one card. Now I'm going to commit to this California here. And adding just that little bit of yellow here and there, it just it creates balance across the pockets. And I really like that. Now I decided I wanted to add a little bit more stamping to this photo, so I add a heart there. 
And I want to add a little bit to the photo in the upper right. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of laying that piece of pattern paper there. But I know for sure I want to stamp a heart in a lighter shade of blue. And then I want to take the um, one of the sentiments and stamp that directly on top in a darker blue. And so this stamp set has really been just awesome to just decorate my cards. I've created customized cards for my pocket. I have also been able to stamp directly onto my photo or add it on with a piece of cardstock. And I have a nice, unique spread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this inspires you to use your artist markers and your stencils and your paper for your pocket pages.